Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can create TikTok videos from podcast snippets. So how you can turn this I had to choose into this. It will probably be All right, for this video, we're gonna use Veed's online video editor. You don't need to download anything. You can instantly get started. Simply head over to your browser and type in the URL box, edit.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now we're redirected to Veeds editor and we can get started. You can choose one of the amazing templates or you can just simply start with a blank project. In this case, I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna click on upload a file and upload my podcast snippet. After a moment, your podcast video is imported and uploaded and you can watch the video back. Welcome to my podcast. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about flying squirrels. Cool. So before I start trimming and add subtitles and audio visualizers, I wanna change the aspect ratio for TikTok. So to make this happen, simply head over to settings on the left menu and on the size, you can see original. If you click on it, you have a bunch of options of aspect ratios you can choose from. In this case, we wanna have a nine by 16. So we're gonna click on TikTok. And as you can see, we changed the aspect ratio. Now, if you wanna make the video fit, simply click on the video itself and click on fill the canvas. Now, personally for me, this would be way too large. So I wanna make it smaller by using the side and corner options to crop the video. As you can see, I'm cropping the video. I'm gonna make it just like this, just a little bit in the middle. And this is just an example, but don't worry, you can always change this. Now let's trim the footage. So there are a couple of ways you can trim the footage. If you head over to the bottom timeline, you can see the split option. And the way it works is that if you're gonna use the playhead and let it rest somewhere. So let's say you wanna let it start at this specific point. You simply click on split and it divides the footage in two. So you simply just delete the beginning. If you right click on it, it says delete and drag the entire file to the beginning. Now, another way you can trim your video is simply just clicking and dragging on one of the sides. In this case, you can drag the end towards the point you wanna let it end. Something that could be very helpful while trimming your video is using the sound waves of your audio. So you can make it visible by clicking on the sound wave option. And as you can see, if you wanna let it start, for instance, when you start speaking, you can see the spikes of the sound wave. So let's say you wanna let it start here because I start talking from there. I'm gonna click on split and delete the beginning, for instance. For instance, here, I wanna let my video start when I say if. Um, if I had to choose to be cool, so I saw like a little dip and a little spike there, so I'm gonna let my playhead rest there, click on split and delete the beginning. And again, I'm gonna drag my file to the left. And if you think your file size is a little bit small, don't worry, you can use the zoom options or click on fit to create an oversight. Cool, so now let's decorate this video for TikTok. So I wanna add subtitles. We're gonna use the auto subtitle tool, it's very easy. Simply head over to subtitles in the left menu, click on auto subtitle, select the language you speak in your video, in this case it's English, and then click on start. Now this can take a moment depending on the size of the video. And now, as you can see, subtitles are added to the video. Now let's make the menu a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And as you can see on the left, you can see the text boxes. You can change all the words there. You can delete subtitles. You can add subtitles, change the timing. And on the bottom timeline as well, you can retime all the subtitles. For instance, if you click on one of the subtitles and click and drag on one of the sides, you can retime it. Or you can click from the middle and just drag it around to retime it as well. And you can also split the subtitles if you use the playhead again. And let's say you want to let it rest here. Simply click on split subtitle and let's have a look. Any tree you like and climb any tree you like. Nice. And honestly, the auto transcription tool did a pretty amazing job. So I don't need to change much. I just want to extend all the subtitles so it looks cleaner in my opinion. Now, if you click on the subtitle within the video frame, you can relocate it and resize it through the side and corner options or rotate it. Uh, but if you want to fully design your subtitles, just simply head over to styles in the subtitles menu and you can change the font, the font size, the color, background color, spacing, and much more. For now, I'm just going to put the subtitles here, but as I said, you can change it whenever you like. Nice. So let's add an audio visualizer. So again, it's very easy. Head over to elements in the left menu. And as you can see, you can add shapes, emojis, progression bars, stickers, whatever you like. For now, I'm going to choose a sound wave. I'm going to click on view all to have an oversight and I'm gonna click on this specific style. Now, as an example, let's have a look. It will probably be a flying scroll. I mean, how amazing would that be? Cool. Now, if you selected the audio visualizer on the left, you can change the style again. You can change the color, the opacity, the control, the decibel control, or the duration. And again, if you clicked on the audio visualizer, you can resize it through the side and corner options. You can relocate it and rotate it. For now, I just wanna make it a little bit smaller and put it in the middle. And I wanna change the color to white. Now let's have a look. Climb any tree you like and be like, mm, I don't wanna climb down and nice. climb another tree. Now I wanna add a cool title 
to this video. So to make this happen, head over to text in the left menu, choose one of the presets. I'm just gonna choose headline title. And similarly to the subtitles on the left, you can change the words in the text box. You can change the text style. And as a new thing, you can add animations to your text, which is pretty cool. But first let's just relocate the title. I'm gonna put it to the top and I'm gonna make it wide because it's very hard to see. I'm also gonna change the words and the styling a little bit. Oh, and very important to know, as a default, if you add text to your video, it's always gonna be shorter than the rest of the video. But if you head over to the bottom timeline, you can extend the timing of the text. For now, I'm just gonna simply drag it towards the end of the video or beginning of the video. Let's have a look. Probably be a flying scroll. I mean, how amazing would that be? You can just, amazing. Let's have a look at the animation. So if you click on animation, you can make it fade. You can let it slide to right. You can use the typewriter option, which is pretty cool for now. I'm gonna use that one but you can make it drop, you can make it pop, whatever you like. Now I'm pretty much content with the video. All I wanna do is add a background color. To make this happen, head over to settings in the left menu and on the background, you can see the color option there. If you click on it, you can choose one of the colors from the palettes or add a color code below. In this case, I'm gonna choose a little less black, which is called gray, I guess. I guess this is gray. So I'm gonna click on it and there you go. Now I'm content with my video and I wanna export it. To make this happen, head over to export in the right top corner. Choose your preferred render settings. In this case, I'm gonna choose HD. Make sure burn subtitles is enabled and then click on export video. After the video is rendered, you can watch the video back on the left. If I had to choose to become an animal, it will probably be a flying scroll. I mean and as you can see, all the effects are applied. Now, if you wanna share your video, simply head over to the share option below the video and you can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can put it on your socials or embed it on your website. But most likely you wanna download your video and upload it to TikTok. You can use your phone for this. If you log in to feed on your phone, you can download it straight from there. Or if you're on desktop, simply click on the download option below the video, click on download MP4 and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day and good luck.